Hello YouTube, Casey Tron here. Um, this is my first official YouTube vlog. I'm gonna be doing vlogging. What vlogs are is they're completely unedited footage of just me kind of talking about different things. Um, today I'm going to be talking about um, my appearance on the Drunken Peasants show. Um, first of all, I was really excited, really excited to go on the show and have a serious discussion about the debates. Um, that was my intention entirely. Um, before going on the show, I knew what I was going to be up against. I know that the peasants are diehard Hillary fans, um, and I was the one who was going on with a different perspective as a Trump supporter. Um, so it was like I was basically going on CNN, Clinton News Network, as the opposition. So obviously I was extremely nervous and I was pleasantly surprised with how um, they reacted to a lot of my opinions. Um, I feel like they were really open to the truth and I feel like I did red pill them pretty hard. Um, however, their audience's reaction to my appearance on the show was extremely disheartening and off-putting. Um, I think that their audience forgets that I was extremely brave. I was. I was extremely brave. I was extremely brave even going on their show in the first place. Um, and I think that they forget that. I think that they forget that I was extremely very, very brave. Um, their audience is always extremely hateful towards women um, and just females in general that go on the show unless it's a porn star, apparently, because pretty much their audience thinks the only thing women are good for is doing porn. And now I'm going to show you guys some of the disgusting comments that some of their audience made about me. First of all, first of all, one of them said, why did you have that vapid fool, they're talking about me, on your show? That might be the dumbest guest you've ever had. So apparently, you know, once again, their audience just thinks that all females are dumb. And he quoted me, she wants to start nuclear war with Russia. And then somebody else commented, commented she is a troll. And um, first of all, I want you guys to know that I was not trolling whenever I said that Hillary wants to start nuclear war with Russia. That's not a troll. That's very real. And um, if you guys don't think that, then you're blind to the truth. You're extremely blind to the truth if you don't think that. Um, just so, just so, so blind. A part of me just wants Hillary to win the election so that whenever we go to nuclear war with Russia, um, I can point out how I was right. <clears throat> um, this is another comment. Honestly, if you like Casey Tron, you should probably just kill yourself and do the gene pool a favor. So there's somebody from their audience telling, you know, people from my audience that they should all kill themselves. How would they feel if I said, you know, if you are honestly a fan of the drunken peasants, then you should probably just kill yourself and do the gene pool a favor. You know, they probably wouldn't like it so much if it were being said about them, but that's just how a misogynist minds work. It's just how their minds work. Double standards. <clears throat> I need a mute button just for Casey Tron would have made this episode bearable. Find a decent troll next time, not someone who mindlessly says the same thing over and over. There is no reason, there is a reason she is a titty streamer. She's not smart enough to make good content. See, and once again, um, you know, there they are, objectifying me and making misogynistic comments. And I just find that really, really hurtful. Really, really hurtful. <coughs> That's all the dumb bitch says when she called, when called on their dumb bitch shit. Casey Tron, 
is what you get if you fucked a real doll 50,000 times without ever washing it out, then brought it to life and gave it a YouTube channel. See? Like, who... Who... Who would say something like that? You know, who would say something like that? These are the same people who are gasping whenever they hear Donald Trump say that he wants to grab a woman by the pussy. These are the same people who are, you know, so upset that Donald Trump would say something like that, turning around and saying something, you know, ten, ten, a, thousand, a million times worse to me. You know, and that's just Hillary supporters for you. <clears throat> Is anyone else sick of this Twitch garbage? If I wanted to watch annoying Twitch whores, I would go on Twitch. Somebody made a Reddit post about that. So they think that all women on Twitch are Twitch whores. <clears throat> and those are just some of the comments that their audience has been saying about me. I don't know if it's something amongst the atheist community um, because a large amount of them seem to be sexist. Um, and I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just calling it. I'm just calling it how I see it. <clears throat> I don't think I've met a single atheist who has treated me respectfully. Um, they've all treated me like I'm some sort of, you know, $2 whore or whatever they say about me. And as atheists, aren't they supposed to be all for the seven deadly sins? Aren't they supposed to be all for like whoring and gambling? Yet then they talk about it like it's derogatory. So there they are going against their Satan God. Um, I just want the drunken peasants audience to know that whenever I speak to the drunken peasants, they treat me very nicely and very respectfully. And I want their audience to know that you are representing them. And because of how you guys act towards women, um, you know, someone might think that um, the peasants are sexist or misogynistic whenever they're not. So um, I just want you guys to know that you're representing them. And just because of the way you've talked about me, you're making them look really bad. Um, <clears throat> so those are basically my thoughts for today. Thank you for watching my first vlog and have a goodbye YouTube.